Okay, I get a lot of uh, email and questions about stretching chest voice, mixed voice, the passaggio, head voice. What is head voice? Man, there is so much technical information behind this that to go through all this right now would be overwhelming. So I'm going to keep it incredibly simple. Tenors, I want you to try to stretch your chest voice to a B if you can. Maybe a C, a high C if you can. Try to do it safely with the vowel modifications and the different things that I've shown you. Try to do this safely and stretch that chest consistently over and over again. Then, like a leg, the leg is one leg. It's not three parts to a leg or four or five parts to a leg. It's one leg. The chest voice is like our quad, right? The head voice is like our calf. The passaggio, or the breaking point, your, your break, your passaggio, is like the knee. Ladies, I'm talking to you too, okay? And what we do is, first we strengthen the quad and get it nice and strong. Then we strengthen the, the, the head voice and get that nice and strong. Then we strengthen the passaggio area, or going through the passageway. Now, you're going to say, well, Ken, uh, you didn't do um, uh, head voice exercises in volume one. Precisely. The reason that I didn't is because strengthening the head voice first, or first meaning in volume one, before you, know, you get to really understanding how to belt and, and pull a lot of weight through the passaggio, tears down the chest voice. Let me say this again. When we grow our head voice, and we have that nice bright sound, we grow this sound, that actually will atrophy or break down the mid voice. Right? Your chest voice, your, your, your belting or call register. We don't want that. And it's going to be confusing because you're going to go, dang it, one minute it's like an equilibrium. One minute I've got my chest voice really strong and then the next minute I'm growing my head voice and my chest voice breaks down. So we want to grow the chest voice, make it very, very strong and consistent. Then we integrate or we add into the picture growing the head voice. And I wait until volume three to do this. Don't be bummed, but it's important. We want to grow the chest voice first, make it strong, build good muscle memory. If you pull, pull the chest voice in too soon, you're going to find the muscle breaking down over and over again and getting really frustrated. You need to get to the point. Now, by the way, this doesn't mean you can't dabble in understanding how to connect the visage. In fact, I, I do this in volume one, and I think this is where some of the confusion comes in. And I go, now I'm doing it really loud. It's easier to go. It's easier to do it loud than it is doing it soft. Soft takes a lot of finesse. But soft is critical because if you tear down the knee, remember I talked about this like a leg, if the knee gets torn down over and over again, I don't care how strong your quad is, I don't care how strong your calf is, if the knee can't support the kick, the soccer ball kick, from how strong your quad and calf are, then it's not going to matter. So what we do is we gently start dabbling in getting a feel for the passaggio, getting a feel for understanding, only sing as loud as you can connect. Now people say, well loud, what does loud mean? Good question. It does not mean to add air to the sound. And I've seen this all over the website where people are adding all this air. No, 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 no. Remember I said to cut back the air, it's the bright, it's the bright sound, that bright ping is the only true sound that grows the voice. If that's true, and it is, then we don't want to go, because that will not grow the mid voice. What we want is to only sing as loud as we can connect through the passaggio from chest to head without hearing the break, with the brightest timbral sound as we possibly can. Now, in the process of this, what we want is we want to stretch the chest voice as high as we can before we hand it off to keep that voice nice and strong. Now, can we connect earlier? Absolutely. Depending on the kind of music that you sing, absolutely you can. But the key is, is to grow the chest and keep it strong, the head voice, keep it strong, 
keep stricture from the way from the back of the throat and be able to grow that passaggio nice and strong. I would suggest you grow the, the calf, or excuse me, the quad, the chest voice, as strong as you can, stretch it as far as you feel comfortable, safely, first. Grow your calf as strong as you can and bring it down as far as you can, safely, first. Learn to feel the connection as you go through. Now, where do we connect? And I want to discuss this. For high berries, berries and high berries, you're probably going to want to start to feel the connection as you warm up somewhere around the E4. It's a really low note, but you're going to want to feel it there as you warm up. As your voice gets a little warmer, yes, it will change, just like your vowel modifications will change, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But you're going to feel around, around F sharp 4, G4, that you can stretch the chest to there and start to hand it off. Tenors, you can stretch the chest all the way up at least to an A, B flat, B, some can bring it all the way to, to uh, a C or a, D, a D5 if you can. I personally don't transition until around a D5 all the way to an E5. Sometimes I'll stretch chest all the way to a B5, right? What is that in, on, in guitar terms? Get on your guitar and look, look this up, but those are some high notes. It's way up in the female soprano range. Ladies, for you, same thing. You want to be able to um, altos, go all the way like the tenors, the high tenors, you're going to transition about the same note around the high C and you're going to start to migrate up and through the D and the E, E5. Sopranos, you're not going to do it until at least the E5, F sharp 5, and on up and through your, uh, your higher registers of, of your voice. So, now, again, as we warm up, you're going to notice also that when you're warming up, that's not necessarily where you transfer at, because your voice isn't warm yet. You're just getting a lay of the land. You're getting warmed up. So as, as we warm up, in fact, let me take a quick break. I want to talk about warm-ups for a second. So my next thing is be warm-ups. Here we go.